it was before my time, but my colleagues, Gloria and Linda, who, funny enough, did not watch Mad Men, but they got a call from a set designer one day, Matthew Wiener was very intent on making sure that all of their set design was period appropriate. And so the set designers called our archive and were giving some examples of, hey, if we have this in a scene, is it accurate? Were you making it at this time? So they kind of went through and did some fact checking um, and made sure that whether it was the Eames Time Life chair or any other, a lot of in the office scenes you can see our product, but. Um, we informed some of the set design for Mad Men. You did for Mad Men. Yeah, which yeah. I mean is, um, I think, truly what sort of has reignited the interest in this design or did when uh, the show was on. But I mean, it's interesting to me that mid-century modern just continues to be such a popular yeah. style for people year after year regardless of other trend cycles, um, that definitely didn't hurt that we were on the most popular television show at the For time. For years. <laughs> For years. Yeah, so. Mad Men, it speaks, to, it speaks to a time. It does. But then it speaks also to, to classic sort of timeless. Right, I mean, and I think people sort of remembering when and where those designs came from in a way, or where they were first spec'd. So it was in a lot of corporate offices and also I think in Mad Men it's being represented in the avant-garde or who knew what's next, sort of this uh, culture now where you have startups and famous founders of companies where if you want to show that you are ahead of the curve and you are kind of looking towards the future, to me I think how you show that is by having Herman Miller and all furniture in your spaces, whether that's an Aeron chair, a regeneration chair, a Barcelona chair, like I think it conveys a certain something um, about what you might think or your openness to yeah. new ideas. Yeah.